Not every missile is launched from a silo, dropped from a plane, or fired from a warship. Some of the world's most capable and dangerous missile systems are deployed on something as mundane-looking as a truck. From short-range battlefield systems to intercontinental ballistic missiles, countries around the world are increasingly relying on mobile launchers to protect and position their missile forces. So, in today's video, we're exploring why countries mount advanced missile systems on trucks, what these mobile platforms offer, and how they're shaping modern missile strategy. Let's dive in. Transporter Erector Launchers, also known as TELs, are mobile vehicles designed to carry, elevate, and launch missiles. They range from small, truck-mounted systems like the American HIMARS to massive, multi-axle vehicles carrying intercontinental ballistic missiles like Russia's Topol M or China's DF-41. What they all have in common is mobility, the ability to drive, hide, and fire without needing fixed infrastructure. Some TELs operate as part of tactical units on the battlefield. Others are strategic, designed to carry nuclear weapons and stay hidden across thousands of kilometers of terrain. Whether firing short-range rockets or long-range ballistic missiles, TELs are built to move before and after launch, giving them a major edge in survivability and flexibility. The core reason is survivability. Fixed launch sites, such as silos or air bases, are easy to locate and destroy in a first strike. Let's illustrate. A missile parked in a hardened silo may be safe against some threats, but its location is static. A missile on a truck, however, can change position constantly, hiding in forests, tunnels, or urban areas to avoid detection. Mobility also means flexibility. TELs don't require a permanent base or extensive infrastructure. They can use existing roads, highways, or unprepared terrain, depending on their design. For countries with limited strategic depth or vulnerable borders, this makes TELs an attractive option for maintaining a viable missile force. And then there's cost. Building and maintaining underground silos or bomber fleets is expensive and time-consuming. By comparison, Truck-mounted missile systems can be manufactured, deployed, and dispersed more quickly and cheaply, especially for countries with developing militaries or constrained budgets. Mobility doesn't just help systems survive. It creates operational advantages. TELs introduce strategic ambiguity. A convoy of mobile launchers could be carrying real missiles or decoys. Satellites and drones can't always tell the difference. That uncertainty forces adversaries to devote more time and resources to surveillance and analysis. Mobility also supports dispersed basing. Instead of relying on a single base, a missile force can be spread across hundreds of kilometers. If one TEL is destroyed, others can still operate. This makes the entire system harder to neutralize in a single attack. Some mobile systems also offer tactical advantages by getting closer to the target. Missiles launched from near a coastline or frontline can reach targets faster and with less warning. This is especially relevant for cruise missiles and short-range ballistic systems. Russia and China are two of the largest users of road mobile missile systems. Russia's RS-24 Yars intercontinental missile is deployed on massive 16-wheeled TELs that can operate far from fixed infrastructure. China's DF-21D and DF-26, often labeled carrier killers, are also mounted on mobile platforms that allow repositioning and concealment. North Korea has adopted a similar model. Its military parades regularly feature TELs carrying long-range ballistic missiles although there's debate over how many are fully operational. Even so, the message is clear. Mobility makes deterrence more credible. In the United States, mobile missile systems like HIMARS and the Patriot Launcher are used primarily in tactical roles. 
HIMARS in particular is prized for its rapid deployment and shoot-and-scoot capability, making it effective in fast-moving or dispersed combat zones. As with most platforms, mobile systems have their own vulnerabilities too. They require fuel, spare parts, and trained crews to remain operational. In rugged terrain or poor conditions, movement can be difficult. If a TEL is spotted while preparing to launch, it can still be targeted, especially by drones or loitering munitions. TELs also depend on effective camouflage and deception. Without it, they're at risk of being identified by satellites or aerial surveillance. To counter that, some countries use decoy vehicles, radar reflectors, and fake emissions to confuse observers. So, why do countries put missiles on trucks? In a nutshell, mobility gives them a better chance to hide, survive, and fire back. Whether they carry tactical rockets or strategic nuclear weapons, mobile launchers are becoming an essential part of modern military strategy. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this format, make sure to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for the latest defense news and analysis.